Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to CloudMoo SMP. This is episode... What episode is it? <laughs> uh, seven? Maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, so... I gotta find that out, actually. <laughs> hey, I was right, it is episode seven, so... Yeah, guys, so I've been doing a lot of off-camera work, including uh, my armor's been breaking, so I've been just using random uh, zombie armor. I've got myself an efficiency four shovel that I've been using for some uh, terraforming, as well as a sharpness three, unbreaking three diamond sword. Pretty satisfied with that, like sharpness five, but you know, to have just a, a decent sword is really nice. As well as I've gotten myself, and this is really key for what we've been working on for the past couple episodes, an efficiency for silk touch diamond pickaxe. Very nice. But I have been pranked, I'm guessing. So there used to be some redstone here. But the problem is I record my episodes like middle of the week here on Cloud Moo, And I saw the redstone here like beginning of the week. And I just couldn't stand it being here. But the last person who put like bits of redstone around in my base uh, was the Borg. So I'm guessing this is him. But he's got this contraption set up that says, look this way when pull when pulling the lever. Okay, so there's some carpet here. Guessing some sort of jump scare. Okay. Boo. Ooh, a wither skull. I don't know if this was supposed to push up or not, or is it just supposed to go away? I think it was just supposed to go away. But yeah, nice, a wither skeleton skull. I'm gonna put that on <laughs> because I can. Uh, golden chest plate, nice. Enchanted iron leggings, thank you. And boots. What kind of boots are these? Okay, very broken boots. All right, I'll take the armor stand as well. But very interesting. <laughs> uh, I'll have. To, I think that was the Borg. I don't know exactly. I can't confirm. Cannot confirm. Uh, let's get the torch. This redstone. I'm not sure how all this works. I guess it's got something to do with things. How did he? <laughs> this rest is strange. Okay, so I think I got it now. So yeah, this was the block that the torch was sitting on. Okay, so let's uh, put a few torches in here because I don't want mob spawn. I'm not going to fill this in today. But let's just get that there. Oh, he took my polished insight. Alright, so get the lever. And we'll grab this sign as well. So I've been up to some things off camera. I've put in some slab, cobblestone slab ceiling here for my base. Uh, mainly wanted a little bit more elevation here, so I used slabs. As well as I put some glass in here. Did not have enough glass. Um, I was smelting up some here. I wonder if it's smelted or not. I was on here yesterday. Got some stone, iron. Lots of, I did some mining yesterday as well. Am I smelting up any glass? No, I guess not. <laughs> I thought I was smelting up glass. Uh, let's get these things put away and into our sorting system that is working. Let's put our iron and gold. You can filter through to all of your respective chests. Nice. I always just like to make sure that goes into the hoppers it's supposed to. Um, yes, so let's put that thing away and... Oh, Put a redstone, we could sort as well. Uh, armor and tools. It's going to fill up all of my armor. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Borg. Um, get rid of the golden boots because we'll never never use those. Go. Be what? Go. Fly away. Okay, so let's put that in there. And we can put up our another armor stand. Like, I don't know where I want to put another armor stand. <laughs> put one like right here, I guess. And we'll get some interesting armor uh, let's do like a full gold thing we've got feather falling three boots from uh, we have a zombie XP farm and I should show it this episode because uh, you guys have not seen it yet as far as I know but I want to set up an ice farm and so I think over by the zombie XP farm would be a good place to set it up just because we already have a portal there and I need a place that can uh, let's see, wool. Uh, place that we can get ice from. So let's put these things away. Let's actually, I want to take some signs so I can mark some things. We'll grab a little bit of cobblestone and an extra bucket here. But I also want to show you guys what I've been up to with the efficiency for 
uh, shovel that we have here that it's taken a lot of dirt build. I've repaired it once already. We've been doing some serious mining out. Uh, you guys remember this all used to be hills, and we've mined out this area. I haven't gone all the way back here because I the, my base starts like right in here, I think somewhere. Um, so kind of, I'm gonna be tearing out a lot of this stuff, like this area in here. I'm gonna be tearing out and uh, just using this part. So didn't terraform all of that, but you friend, go away. Okay, um, and so we've got some cows over here. We've got a little bit of wheat going on just because I wanted to get some leather and the cows over at the uh, other place, the village, yes, uh, have been, somebody hasn't been rebreeding them. So yeah, just decided to get my own little uh, stash of cows. Uh, so let me actually, what I've been doing is making some mossy cobblestone for like our basement level is going to be all mossy cobblestone so yeah i am using a lot of cobblestone this season i thought it'd be kind of cool something a little bit retro style got a little stairway going up here nothing too crazy just to get up so yes let's head over to let me get some water first head over to where we're going to be setting up the ice farm because i i've got some ideas so yes let me actually I probably should show you guys i have not actually told anyone I'm recording. There's no one on the server, so it'll be fine. Uh, so let's actually head into the nether because I actually want to show you guys uh, where we go to the zombie XP farm. Uh, so yes, cobblestone trail leads to here and we've got two zombie XP farm. So yes, we're just going to head down this way. And actually somebody built a room for this uh, XP farm. I didn't build it. Somebody else did. And I was very, very pleased with how this turned out. Um, so yes, Head down through here and got to go a little bit farther. Eventually want to work on setting up a nether hub, but I don't know when I'll have time to do it or uh, if anyone else will do it. But yes, very, very pleased with the block combination here. It looked very nice. I'm really, whoever did this, props to you. Uh, looks like they're setting something else up here. I'm not sure what, uh, but props to you for whoever set this up. And they even did more work here on the other side. Of, of this uh, XP farm. You guys can see in here. Hello, baby zombie. Can I hit you? Can I hit you now? There we go. Goodbye. Uh, they even did some work in here, which was very nice. So the zombie XP farm used to be down, like, right in this block. And I actually moved it, mainly because the zombies, the, like, spawner was detecting that there were zombies here and wasn't spawning zombies quick enough. In fact, it wasn't spawning very many zombies at all. Um, because of the maximum mob count. So I moved it down here to this area. It looks like somebody came through here and did some work as well. So that way we can get, oh uh, yeah, we can get um, zombies a lot quicker and a lot faster. And using the swipe mechanic, all we have to do is just go into here and just swipe and kill and get all of the resources and XP that we want to when iron it nice and the main issue that we were having up there was that uh, baby zombies were escaping so yeah I put a half slab here I think somebody changed this out but put a half slab here just to cover that cover those grounds and so forth I think it looks pretty good this half slab looks weird am I the only one that thinks this half slab looks very strange is this like a stone brick I guess it's a stone brick half slab that they used Never know it looked like that. Yeah, let's get a few of these guys killed off here so we don't have them just sitting in here. Getting lots we actually get a lot of villager zombies through this, so if we ever run out of villagers, this will be a place to come. So what I want to do is we're up here in the Savannah Plateau. Um I'm not sure if this qualifies as mountains though. I don't think it does. But I want to make my way up to the very top. You guys see how high up we are? Uh, this is the way we got up back there. Um, why is there water constantly? Oh, because of my, yeah, because of my frost walker. That's why water's doing that. Um, but I want to check up here. Is this still, oh, okay. Let's actually be careful. Uh, that glitched out a little bit on me. Let's actually make a proper stairway to get up here because Otherwise, bad things will happen. Uh, we can probably just mine our way for the rest of this part. 
I want to check and see if this is a, qualifies a mountains up here at any point in time. I don't think it does. Now I think of it, because uh, it's Savannah, but it doesn't hurt to check. Let me up. Yeah, this is all going to be Savannah, I think. Uh, let's get a torch there. Savannah, Plateau, Mountains. Um, if we take out for Frostwalker and then put down water, will that turn to ice? Let's look around. This is actually a really cool area. Uh, we're up here at 238, almost at the block, maximum block building height. So I think my cloud height has turned up a little bit. If I remember correctly, what is it? Video settings, details, cloud height, it's off. Have it natural. Um, so yeah, you guys can see how high we are up. You know, like the clouds are down there. So let me check this. Are you turning to ice? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So we'll have to look for an actual mountains area. And I'm not sure if there's any nearby the spawn, but let me go check. So yes, I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we're back here in spawn, and I want to actually test out something. I did not bring my silk touch with me, but I want to, we have the Frostwalker boots, and this might be a very cheaty thing if we can get this to work, but it would be awesome for, like, quick ice. So if we got a silk touch on us, and we go here with our Frostwalker, can we then mine this and get ice? No, we can't. Ah, uh, darn it. <laughs> They accounted for those things, didn't they? Yeah, we can't get ice from that. Darn it. All right, so let me sleep real quick before we do any exploring. And I want to go look for a mountains biome. So, yeah, see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so the nearest mountains area that I can come up with is minus 266 minus 30, 344. <laughs> So, I think this is over by Zuki's base, Zuki and Chikat's base, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's where they're at. So, I'm hesitant to set up a nether portal. Is this mountains? I believe this is. Yeah, this is up over by uh, Zuki and Chikat's base here. And they've been, like, this place is crazy looking. <laughs> I'm really, like, it's got a lot of stuff going what is that oh that's the wither arena okay they fought a wither <laughs> um so hmm i hope they don't mind me setting up some sort of ice farm near here where are we this is plains plains i kind of want to set up like as far away from their base as i can get it because i don't want to be like intruding um savannah mountains is this all Savannah Mountains? Where are we? 266. Oh, we might have to go a considerable distance still. I don't think this is all this is all still Savannah Mountains, so we might have we might avoid that. Um so jump. There we go. Okay, so might still have to do a little bit of traveling here. We gotta go another let's see. Nice 344. About another 300 blocks this direction, I think. I was mistaken. I thought this was mountains but i guess not but they've got a lot of crazy stuff going on here like what is that i do want to kind of check it out a little bit i do want to look at their base and just see what they've been doing i'm running out of food i wonder if i can snag some food from them um let's see this i thought about setting up in a mountains this season but it just really didn't work out i don't know um wow this is looks like some sort of really detailed house is going to go here uh, your stuff, Zuki. Okay, this must be Cheat Cat setting all this up. Can I steal some food from these guys? I can steal a few carrots. Just gonna snag a few. <laughs> just to keep, just keep myself alive so we can keep traveling here. Oh, and Jeremiah. Hello. Um. Oh, shoot, I actually, nope, not Frostwalker. Don't freeze over their water. <laughs> uh, I don't think I freeze it over, but... Alright, so we got eight carrots that should do for now. Let's go ahead and head more towards the direction that we're supposed to be going. Um come on, get up the I don't have depth strider. I just want at some point here once we get like a really good 
XP and so forth and I have time to grind it all out I'm gonna definitely be setting up like trying to get OP armor here on the server alright so yeah let me head to these co coordinates and I will see you guys once I, once I get back here I'm not sure what he's talking about alright guys so we've run into the mountains it's like literally just over the hill so probably still will set up a some type of a uh, nether portal here and I think right here should be fine we can set it up pretty much anywhere where this grass is we can set it up or wherever snow spawns um, which looks like pretty considerable amount might set it up right over here now I think of it um, just to make our lives just slightly a little more easier so that's quite an interesting biome though like I thought about setting up, I've always thought about setting up so many different bases in so many different places uh, it's very, very strange. Okay, so I'm thinking like right in here we could set it up. Let's just smooth out a little bit of an area here so that we can have a, a good starting block to build on here. So what I'm thinking is we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there, 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 and there we're going to build a pretty considerably large ice farm here. So every other block here like so and maybe one more just for starters and we might like off camera might really expand it if I if I'm really wanting more ice really don't need a whole lot of ice uh, just a couple I think and we'll have this extend out Many blocks one two three four five six seven eight um for right now I think we can do eight blocks each one there we go and we'll just do this going across um, let's uh, get this going here grab glad I brought all the cobblestone because we definitely need it here course becoming night as well this will be fun okay um, so let me set this up let me just get all of this going here like we have and uh, once this is done I will come back and uh, we'll start putting in some water and maybe hopefully we can set up a nether portal here as well I'm not sure if we will or not all right guys so this is the design I've come up with here it's not going to be automated or anything um, but basically instead of doing the rows I'm going to do one large area here and then what we're going to do is go along like so and cover uh, over one block in here so that way when we spawn in the water all we have to do is do this and then the water will actually be protected from freezing once it's under a block so let me just get this all situated here it's starting to make infinite water sources here it should just fill in there we go yes fills in and what this should start doing is freezing over um, now we're up here in this get out of here chicken go away um, it should start freezing over why are there so many chickens coming into the pot it's not a chicken pool no uh, so yes this should start to freeze over yeah we're seeing some ice here now and uh, basically what will happen is all this will freeze over besides the water underneath the blocks here and then we can just come in here and you know, get all the ice that we want um, in fact I'm going to start gathering just a little bit here oops broke that block uh, probably should not have built this out of cobblestone that I think of it but should be fine go away go away no there you go um, whoops Let's get back up here, and so yeah, we can just come in here, get our the ice that we want as uh, as it grows, or if you know over time we come back here and it's all frozen over, we can just get all the ice that we need. Five ice uh, should be good for the starting of our storage room because I want to be able to get items over uh, blocks, so ice will cause it to slide over. So that's why I'm here, just you know grinding out, getting some ice. But yes, so this system seems to be working. All we have to do is just come in here and. Get all the ice that we want, as much ice as our 
heart's desire. Um, probably at some point I'll come back here and what we'll do is once all the ice is freezed over, uh, what somebody can do is just flick a lever and that way they can just mine all the ice and not worry about new water coming in until they're ready for new water to fill in. Uh, might be something we might do, but yes, so I'm going to make my way back to the way back to the base once we get rid of all these zombies uh, and probably off camera I'll set up another portal here I won't do that on camera because that's pretty boring the way all right so yeah I'll see you guys back at the base all right guys so we're back here at the base and I've got myself the ice that we need here and so basically what needs to happen here is Whenever this I yeah, whenever the water flow ends, so what is this sorting? This is sorting stone, we're gonna take this out. Um whoops. <laughs> Did not want to fall away down here. Uh let's quickly get back up there. Uh yeah, we'll go through our base here. <laughs> uh so basically what's going to happen is where we've just removed all this stuff here. Uh, let's get our axe out. Uh, we'll have to take out the redstone as well. Don't want to waste any redstone here. Um, so yes, ow. All right, yeah, right in here. That should be good. So what we're going to do is put an ice block there. Now we do have to be careful about it melting because it isn't packed ice. Uh, but don't I don't really know of any ice planes that have been discovered. I doubt we've discovered anything. Um, but yes, so ice is going to go there. Um, should be okay. Uh, let's get a cobblestone block in there and might as well surround this in glass at least so that way in case it melts it doesn't spread everywhere uh, so yes grab some glass then smelting up some gather some sand while I was in the desert there so yeah I'll put some glass in here so that way in case it does do something strange uh, we won't worry about anything we won't worry about anything wrecking redstone or anything, so it should just stay in there. The only thing we'll do, though, is that if we put items through the system, it will just get caught in that water stream. So, yes, that is up and running now. So, I need to replace yeah, this system with the stone that we removed. So, let me just do this real quick. And we'll have to get more comparators and all that in here as well and so forth because... Really did not uh, finish all the sorting, as you guys can see, but at least we've got our ice now so that we can run all of our redstone correctly and run all the items down correctly as well. That was, I didn't do all the stuff because I wanted to make sure that it would work still. Um, but yeah, we're going to put items through the system still, just make sure, test everything. <laughs> That's my philosophy. So yeah, let's get this in here, there, and then we need our repeater back in there. Should be good. So yeah, let's uh, test out the system. Um, what I want to do actually is grab ourselves a sign as well, because what we're going to do is where this ice is, uh, we need our, the water that we placed. The new water is going to go right here, so we need to place it on a sign here so that way water doesn't flow backwards. Um, so yes, let's put you through here, put a block covering this over just to make sure that no nothing crazy happens. Um, then we're sorting stone. Whoops, get that in there, in there, and that should be good. So yes, let's um, see. We've got uh, andesite, polished andesite, uh, regular andesite, stone bricks sorted in here, and cobblestone. Let's put. Um, oh, I forgot to put the water in here. Might as well do that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me grab the water real quick. Alright guys, water is in and stone bricks are here, so might as well throw in maybe a stone brick and see how this does. Stone bricks going through, should get launched onto the ice and go through, nice, and then it gets sorted, nice. So we can put pretty much anything we want through here. Let's put some of our andesite through here. Um, yeah, there we go. Grab some andesite here and see how this does, make sure everything gets to its correct place. Yeah, andesite's going through. You guys see it going through there. Goes over the water, goes over the ice, and into the sorting. Nice. So yeah, we see all that going through nicely. See how it speeds up just enough over the ice. Really nice. Very excited about that. So yes, now we have another one, two, three, four, five. 
five. Okay, one, two, three. And that we have three more uh, areas to sort items. Now, the tricky part is going to be the turning area as well. But I think we will worry about that next time. So I want to put away a few things here real quick. And then we're going to work on our next project. So yes, see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So now we've got Silk Touch. Let's sleep real quick. What I want to do is I want to go and get my enchantment table from over at my spawn house, that that place. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and grab that because I want to move our enchantment area over here just because this is our new base in our spawn house. That's the only reason I ever return to our spawn house is for enchanting purposes. So yeah, probably won't return here too much more, but let's um yeah, let's go ahead and grab our enchantment table here. And here. Yeah, pretty much nothing in here besides this thing. So I just wanted the silk touch mainly because I don't want to have to remake all of the uh bookshelves. So yes, let me gather all of these bookshelves and then I will head back to our base and we'll set up the enchantment area. Alright guys, so we got our enchanting stuff. We've got him wearing a wither skeleton skull. <laughs> eh, I don't really care. I don't die that much. Um, just jinxed myself there, by the way. So, basically my base plans here is I want to set up... The reason I got the glass in there, right in there, is because I want to set up like four towers. And I have like... They'll be connected, obviously. But four towers. And each tower is going to have like, you know, its own farms and so forth and we're going to try and compact everything to the smallest possible size that we can get it um so yes i got vines here i'm just going to make this into mossy cobblestone so i think for right now we'll set up our enchantment area uh, by the way i put in one of these minecart elevators i don't know is this this one isn't really necessary i don't think but i have it there anyway um, in case we go down, which we will. Um, so yeah, basically where the glass divides all of this here, I want to have like four individual towers. So I think right here would be a good spot for our enchantment table. Um, where is a good center area? I guess this, none of this is center because it's even, but uh, we can attempt to do it. Uh, I guess right there should be fine. And then we'll put bookshelves surrounding this thing. Make sure we do this in the correct spacing. There and there, and then we can put a couple up here. And maybe can we put these back here and still get a level 30. Yes, we can. Okay, nice. So yeah, our enchantment area is set up here nicely. Um, I want to head down. Um, we don't have a good way of getting down, so we have this way. <laughs> I'll have to set up something over here um, because we got that minecart elevator there already. So, yeah, let's put in a few of our mossy cobblestone, like so. Should be good. And we'll just get this going here. Nice. So, yeah, guys, um, unfortunately, we're running a little bit low on time today. <laughs> uh, always are because of, but we did get a nice farm set up as well as we've got. Uh, more progression towards our automatic sorting system, which I'm very, very excited about getting set up here very soon. So yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Probably should take this off. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.